Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today um, I'm going to be taking you guys on the replacement of the printer head on my Flash Forge Adventure 5M Pro. Um, this is an OEM replacement that I got off of Amazon. Um, it was on sale. Uh, I believe it was um, it was around 80, mm, 70 to 80 dollars for this replacement head. I don't remember exactly. Um, but it was on sale because it was originally a little over $100 for this and um, I got it on sale. So for the price, I just, because I wasn't sure if it was my nozzle or the feeder. So I, for the price, I just decided to replace the whole thing because this actually came with another 4.4 uh, nozzle. So, um, and then now you guys are going to see, I'm actually um, backing out the screws. So the screws, I'm so sorry for the bad camera angle too, guys. It's kind of hard to get you guys inside of um get a good camera angle inside of the printer so these screws are actually in the back of the printer head there'll be little um gaps where you guys can fit the allen wrench in and uh you'll just there's four screws so there's two on the top and two on the bottom um and then you'll just kind of back those screws out um you do have to kind of stick the allen wrench in there and kind of get a feel for when you're in the screw because you can't you really can't see it I mean, even if I stuck my head down in there, you still can't see it. Um, you guys just got to kind of get a feel for it. And um, you'll know when you're kind of on the screw because you'll feel it as you start to back it out. Um, and then, uh, so the Allen wrench that I'm using is did come with the original printer. It came in the box uh, with like the adhesive and the re, uh, 0.6 nozzle. So it was the middle of the three Allen wrenches. It was the middle size one that I'm using to back these screws out. Um, and then you guys will, I, I, like I'm telling you, these are very difficult to get to. I was getting a little frustrated at one point because I just, I felt like I couldn't get the Allen wrench set on the screw right and it was taking me a while. Um, but you do just got to kind of keep wiggling it around in there and see when you can get attached onto the screw with the Allen wrench because, I mean, I maybe you can put a mirror in there or something, but it's just the angle and trying to be inside the printer to take this out is just kind of hard. And then right now I'm backing out the final screw, so you do want to make sure you hold on to the head when you're backing out that very last screw because it is going to want to fall forward. So I have my hand on the um, printer head as I'm pulling it out. And then um, I will tell you guys too, I did for, I should have taken this off at the very beginning before I started to back out the printer head. Um, you guys are going to see, I realized that um, the feeder line is, needs to come off too. I just, for, I should have removed that while it was still attached because it's a little hard to hold on to it and try and back that screw out because it is very tight. Um, so you guys do, if you guys do remove this, you want to make sure that you probably take that off first. Um, before taking the printer head it'll just make the job a whole lot easier and then um, once I get this off um, you guys will see there is going to be a whole lot more screws that you got to take out because um, you're going to have to also pull out cable or like wires connectors you're going to have to take those off and um, I'll just kind of walk you guys through it as I get to that point Okay, and then you guys are going to see there's some screws on the very top of this printer head. Um, you do have to pull those screws off too. Um, there's one on each side of the very top. Um, you guys will see that I have to unscrew also. And then, um, like I said, there's quite a few screws you guys have to remove to get to everything on this. Because um, you are going to have to remove the top and then... There is a back wire. Um, you guys will see me start to um, unscrew the back part of this also. So there's kind of uh, a little um, piece that's holding the connector in and um, I'll be unscrewing that also. Okay guys, uh, now you're gonna see um, on the back of it, there is the wire. Um, it's like a black wire that's coming out the back of it. Now you're going to see, I got to take this little cover off to get to that wire. So you will have to back out these two screws also. Okay. 
Okay, guys, now this is the black cord that I'm talking about. Um, now, I did end up having to take the whole top of this off. You guys will see me. I got to now take the front part of it off. Um, so you do have to disconnect the wire on this front part where the fan is. Um, right in front. This is literally the front of the printer head. So you want to make sure you have to take that off. And then now I'm going to have to remove these two screws on the very top of it um, in order to get this black cord out because it's actually inside. Um, like I said, you're going to be, just make sure that you guys, most of the screws are the same size, but some of them are a little different. So just make sure you guys know the order that you took them out in, um, in case for some reason, because I did end up keeping this, my old printer head just in case. Um, cause I not, like I said, I wasn't for sure if it's the nozzle or the printer head. So just in case I'll keep this for parts or whatever. Um, the new one does come with the screws, um, now we didn't so i will tell you on this new one actually one of the screws was the head was almost completely stripped out so we ended up i was able to get that off um i needed to use like a bigger allen wrench to get it off because like i said the head was almost stripped but i was able to get it out and then what i did is i ended up just using one of the screws from the old one um to basically replace that strip screw but now you're going to see um, i'm able to get to the wire now and just be very careful when you guys are pulling these out so you don't pull wires out um, I, they are really small connectors i just kind of wiggled it a tiny tiny bit to get it out um, and eventually it released so just make sure you guys are careful with pulling these wires out and then now you're going to see i'm taken uh the tape off the new one and then now basically i have to do almost basically everything i just did to the old one because now i'm going to have to take this front cover off and like it, it make sure that you guys um keep these separated so you don't intermix it with your old parts and your new parts um so you're gonna see i'm gonna take this front cover off again and then just have to remove that wire to take that front fan cover off so basically i'm just going in reverse um on this or doing the exact same thing i just did to the other one and then when you go to put it back together it'll just be in reverse um but i'm going to basically take the front part of the printer head off again uh disconnect that wire take that top piece off i have to take those two screws out on the top piece and then take that top piece off and then um you will have to remove that little cover again for the black wire to run it down through um, but I'll let you guys kind of finish watching the video and then um, I'll chime in if I need to again.
Okay guys, now I'm just gonna button up these last few little things. Um, I'm putting the cover back on the front of it. And then that is it. And I have done a 3D, a couple 3D prints since replacing that and everything seems to be working great. So I appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to like and subscribe guys. Thank you.